Does Amtrak still have dining cars on their trains? What are they like? What routes have what meals? What does Amtrak food cost? What are the hours and the rules? Can I bring my own food and drinks? Hi, I'm still Jeremy. I'll go over all of these questions and more in this video. Climb aboard and let's eat. There are basically two ways to eat Amtrak food. Simple things from the so-called cafe or full meals from the dining car. Of all the Amtrak routes in the United States, only four, the Amtrak Hartford Line, the Hiawatha, Keystone Service, and Valley Flyer have neither of these, so no food at all. All of the rest have at least a cafe, and 14, plus one, sort of, also have dining car service. First, let's talk about the cafe, the one that nearly every Amtrak route has. The cafe is a casual place to get simple food, including prepackaged sandwiches and candy bars, as well as heated up food and, on some routes, pizza slices and hamburgers and hot dogs and things like that. Different routes have different cafe menus. All passengers, whether in a seat or a private compartment, need to pay for things from the cafe. Prices are not too bad, and there's usually a place to sit and enjoy the views, even on short routes. You can look at PDFs of the current cafe menu on any route on the Amtrak website. You can also sometimes buy things like batteries and Amtrak playing cards at the cafe. The cafe is usually open from early morning until late at night. If you want an afternoon snack or a beer, the cafe is where you go. When it comes to Amtrak's famous full meal dining cars, there are two types, traditional and flexible. Let's go over the differences. Dining cars used to all be traditional, but about half were downgraded in 2019. As of this video, only these seven routes offer what Amtrak calls traditional dining. Auto Train, California Zephyr, Coast Starlight, Empire Builder, Southwest Chief, Sunset Limited, and Texas Eagle. Traditional dining means the classic dining car experience that's been famous for decades. It's a full hot meal service prepared in the train by staff in a kitchen. How it works is the staff will walk through the train beforehand and ask you when you'd like to eat will accommodate you the best they can and issue you a ticket. At your time, you take your ticket to the dining car and you'll be seated at a table with a white tablecloth and you order from the server, just like at a restaurant. Every meal is free if you paid for a private sleeper compartment, but if you're traveling in a seat, you'll have to pay the server for your meal, again, just like a restaurant. It can get pricey. A note about traditional dining on auto train between Washington DC and Orlando. It's only available to those with a private sleeper compartment and it comes with a free glass of wine. Otherwise, alcohol in all traditional dining cars costs extra. Amtrak only serves alcohol to passengers 21 and over. Finally, please leave a tip for your server after each meal. Besides the delicious food, one famous and notable feature of Amtrak's traditional dining car is that tables always have four people at them, meaning you'll be seated with other random passengers. Conversations always break out as you compare itineraries and impressions of the train and the countryside. It might sound a little daunting to some, but it's really a fun feature of traditional dining. Making temporary new friends is part of the Amtrak experience. The other type of meal service is flexible dining, which was introduced in 2019 as a replacement for traditional dining on these routes. Capital Limited, Cardinal, City of New Orleans, Crescent, Lakeshore Limited, and Silver Meteor and Silver Star, so most of the eastern long-distance routes. You might remember hearing news stories in 2019 that Amtrak was discontinuing its dining cars. That made it sound like no food would be available on any routes nationwide. But in fact, the only thing that changed is the type of meals and the seating on these seven routes. So what is flexible dining? It's sort of a cross between traditional dining and the cafe, but it's only available for passengers in sleeping compartments, not coach seats. The quality of the food in flexible dining is a step up from the cafe, but not nearly as nice as a traditional dining car. Flexible dining meals are prepackaged, fresh enough, but merely heated up on the train. You can eat anytime you want in the given meal hours, since you aren't ordering anything to be prepared, just selecting from a stock supply. You can opt to be served in your room, or you can sit in the flexible dining car which has no tablecloths and no assigned seating. The car is actually open 24-7, so even outside mealtimes, you can hang around there. But again, only if you're staying in a private compartment. 
Basically, it's the formality and forced dinner companions of the traditional service that were done away with in flexible dining, but so were the beloved higher-end food options. On the other hand, one bonus of flexible dining is that the first alcoholic drink of your journey is free. This situation is true as of mid-2020, and I'd recommend trying to take one of the routes that still offer traditional dining whenever you can. For all anyone knows, all overnight Amtrak routes may be converted to the less personable flexible dining in the future. Get the traditional Amtrak dining car experience while you still can. The hours for both the traditional and flexible dining service are the same. Breakfast is 6.30 to 10, lunch is 11.30 to 3, and dinner is 5 to 9.30. Hours are based on local time zones and may be adjusted due to delays. So who exactly can use the meal service? Anybody on board at the time? Well, it depends on your original boarding time. You must first board by 9.30 a.m. to be eligible for that day's breakfast, by 2.30 p.m. for lunch, and by 8.30 p.m. for dinner. Once you're on board, you can eat every meal until you get off. One route, a cella, which links Washington, D.C. and New York City, has its own unique food system. The Cafe Acela is available to all passengers and uses Amtrak's Corridor Cafe menu, while passengers in first-class seats can also order from the first-class menus, of which there are three that rotate every two weeks. Again, you can see the menus on Amtrak's website. Cafe Acela items cost extra, but the first-class menu is all free. There's no dining car, so you eat at your seat. There are some options on some Amtrak routes for specialty foods, Basically, you can get kosher food and vegan food. Vegan meals are available on all routes that have either traditional or flexible dining, and you don't have to give any advance notice. Just tell the server at mealtime. Vegan meals are also available on a cella where you do need to give notice, at least 24 hours before your train leaves its original station. Even cafes on some routes also have vegan choices. Kosher meals are available on all overnight routes, plus in first class on a cella. You must notify Amtrak 72 hours before your train leaves its original station to get a kosher meal, except a cell of first class which only needs 24 hours notice. There's no extra charge for kosher meals except for coach passengers on auto train, who have to pay $40. Note that Amtrak also offers a Passover kosher meal. Other special food requests, low fat, low cholesterol, low sodium, gluten-free, wheat-free, peanut-free, and other foods for those with allergies are not offered by Amtrak. They say that some of their regular foods might be appropriate in some circumstances, so check with the actual menu on your route. The worst case scenario is you'd have to bring your own food. And about bringing your own food, that is allowed on Amtrak trains. The rule is, you have to eat and drink such food in your seat or private compartment, but not in the dining car or the cafe. You can take it to the upper deck of the Superliner observation car, though. Passengers in sleeper compartments can drink their own alcohol in their rooms, too. Amtrak also can't heat up any food you bring and can't store anything in a refrigerator for you. Passengers with disabilities can opt to be served in their seat or bedroom, or if using a wheeled mobility device, may be able to move to the dining car at a stop beforehand. Ask the staff when you board. If you ride an Amtrak train, you won't go hungry. Whether you're eating in the cafe or with either the traditional or flexible dining service, Food and drink is an important part of enjoying your trip. Again, I'd advise you to try all types, just to have the experiences before they change or go away. Always check the Amtrak website for the latest on menus, times, and prices, because things do indeed change. Enjoy your food. Everything tastes better on a train. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos for travel tips, stories from my own travels, and my experiences as a type 1 diabetic wanderer. See you on the rails.